Hey Hilda, how's it going? I feel like we haven't talked in forever. How has life been treating you? I just wanted to reach out because I just learned how old you are. Man, I have to say that I was just shocked. I mean, don't you worry about your age ever? You should probably start looking into a retirement home or something at this point, don't you think? Just how many vitamins are you having to take a day just to stay functional? Sorry, this is the reason you wanted to message me, Lindsay? I guess I just really don't know what to say at all. I was going to congratulate you on your wedding, though. I mean, I really didn't see my brother getting married so soon after he started his new job. Well, I guess he must have learned from watching you what he didn't want to be. <laughs> and just what might you mean with that statement just then, Lindsay? I mean that you're way older than him and you're still not married. You think he wanted that life for himself after seeing you go through it? I just don't get it, Hilda. How are you not married yet? I get that you're really into your job and that's all you think about and everything. But you think that you would have at least met one other person to be in a relationship with? I don't know how I could live with myself if I were you. It must feel just absolutely soul-crushing to be a woman of age and know that you have no one special to come home to after work. I just don't know how I'd ever be able to do something like that. I really don't feel that way at all if you must know. I don't have any problem at all with not being married. I'm actually very happy with my life like this and I don't really feel the need to go out and do something like that. And just what's the rush to get married anyways? That's something that I've never been able to understand about this craze for getting married so young. I mean, even my little brother Sam, who you're married to now, was already talking about how badly he wanted to get married as soon as he got out of college. I just really don't get what the point of wanting to rush into something like that is. It seems like it would make way more sense for something like that to come naturally. What's the point in waiting to get married any longer after you've already secured a job? That's just what comes next in any adult life. First you get a job, then you get married, then you have kids. So as you can see, you have a lot of catching up to do, you old hag. <laughs> okay, Lindsay, I don't know why you're even acting so surprised about my age. After all, you are 25 years old, aren't you? So I get why you would want to marry a young man like my brother. But you do realize that he's still technically a college student, right? He was only given his job offer, but he literally hasn't even started working yet. And so what if I'm 25 years old? It's about making the most of the time while you have it, and I'm not going to let myself go to waste just to end up some shriveled up old hack like you. I honestly don't even know how you can live with yourself the way you are. It's just sad, really. I mean, don't you have any shame about your life at all? I really think that you're being quite rude to me right now. I don't want to get married. I don't see the point in getting married so early, and I think those are both perfectly fair points to hold. If you're getting married because it's something you both want to do, then I think that is just great, Lindsay. I mean, I've talked to Sam about this, and even he can't believe that he's getting married so young. But as long as you both are happy, I don't have any kind of objections. You don't know what you're talking about at all. Sam was never nervous about marrying me. He was nervous about whether or not he was going to be offered his job or not. <laughs> he knew that I wanted to quit mine and become a housewife, so he knew that this marriage wouldn't work unless he had a job first. And now I'm going to get married and live my dream life. Especially compared to you, now I want to have to grind myself down to nothing for some company that doesn't care at all about me. Does that sound familiar, Hilda? I'm really sorry if it does. I didn't mean to touch a nerve. Maybe you should have just swallowed your pride and gotten married when you were younger and had a chance to. <laughs> right, well, I am glad that you and Sam are so sure about this wedding working out then. I suppose that I'll see you at the wedding itself then. Wait a second, what do you mean you're going to see us at the wedding? Don't tell me that you were going to come to Sam and I's wedding. Well, yes, he is my little brother after all. I was very much planning on being there, if you really want to know. So you're really going to come to the wedding then? You're being serious about that? 
you are actually going to be present at the wedding that is going to be held between Sam and I. Just what the heck do you think you're even going to do there at the wedding, huh? What would even be the point of you showing up? I'm not quite sure that I understand what you mean by that. I mean, like I just said, it's my little brother's wedding. I was going to go there so that I could help him celebrate and be with my family to watch him get married. Does that really not make any sense to you? But to do what? Why are you going to be there? I want to know what exactly is it in your plan on doing at Sam and I's wedding. I am really sorry to keep asking, Lindsay, but I really am not sure about what you mean by that. I don't know what you mean by what do I intend to do there. I was just going to participate like everyone else and help you both celebrate. Does that make sense to you? So you're really just going to show up to a wedding for young people and not be slightly embarrassed about all of that? Even though you're so old and unmarried? You do know that basically everyone there is going to be in their 20s, don't you? There isn't a place for you with that kind of crowd, Hilda. Just think about it, you're already in your 30s. You won't understand a word of our slang and you'll complain that the music is too loud and that your back hurts. There will just be too big a generation gap between you and the other guests. I am sure that a lot of you and Sam's friends are going to be there and that they are going to be a fair bit younger than I am. But I imagine your families are also invited to be there, right? So I'm going to go there as part of the family and be there for my little brother's wedding, okay? I really am not going to the wedding to try and make friends with your friends or anything like that, if that was what you were worried about. But either way, I really don't care about how old anyone is there because that isn't even what the wedding is about, right? Of course that's what the wedding is about. How can you say it doesn't matter how old you are? You really don't think that you can just come and that you won't cause any problems for the wedding, right? Do you have dementia or something? Is that why you're thinking this way? Lindsay, I really think that you are going too far with all of these insults, and I would appreciate it if you stopped it. I have already talked to Sam about this, and he knows that I intend to be there for the wedding. I am his family. I am his older sister, and I have a right to be there whether you like it or not. <laughs> you really think it's your right to be at the wedding? You must have hit your head or something. Why on earth do you think that this is how it works at all? You really are too much. You're an unmarried 30-year-old woman. As far as I'm concerned, you've already given up all your rights. So you're not really going to try and meet me halfway or compromise on this at all? You do realize that all you're doing is getting yourself in deeper and deeper trouble at this point, don't you? There you go again, just stopping this nonsense. You really shouldn't forget to take your pills, Grandma. And just what do you know about me, huh? What makes you think that I'm getting into any trouble? This whole conversation is just getting rather ridiculous for me, Lindsay. I don't want to be insulted by you anymore. Let me just say that I am going to be at the wedding, but I am more than happy to avoid you and your friends if you are so concerned that my presence is going to be a problem there. You really have some nerve showing up to this wedding of youth, do you know that? I really didn't think that I'd see you. I had hoped that you were sufficiently warned the last time that we talked, but I guess I didn't go far enough, did I? I should have known that I would have had to repeat myself way more for a brittle old woman like you to get what I was saying through your thick skull. You keep making fun of my mental acuity, but what about you? Did you hit your head or something? Just what on earth made you think that doing that was a good idea? Why would you do something like that? <laughs> if you are looking for someone to blame, you can start with yourself. You can start with yourself. You know that I warned you not to come before, and yet you decided to show up anyways. You were practically asking for it. What are you talking about, Lindsay? What did I even do that was wrong? I don't understand at all. All I wanted to do was be there for my little brother on his wedding day. But instead, you run up to me and punched me right in the gut. I felt like I was about to puke. Did you know that? I could hardly breathe after that. Why would you hit someone and act so violently on your own wedding day? You're a terrible person, do you know that? I had no idea you were capable of something like that. 
Oh, please. Don't make such a big deal over it. I barely even hit you that hard. I just wanted to pay you back a little for not listening to me when I told you not to come. If you chose to run away from the venue like you did, then that's also on you. Don't you dare try to put the blame on me for any of this, do you understand? You still assaulted me! You do realize that that's illegal, don't you? Why would you even want to act that violently at your own wedding? I just don't understand it at all. Oh, please. Quit being such a big baby. I must have forgotten I was dealing with a fragile old woman. When I hit you. But I told you that this wedding was going to be for young people only. And that you weren't welcome here. Can you please just stop with this younger than you business? It is seriously annoying and you have taken it way too far now. I get that when you're young, you might think that you're on top of the world and that you look down on old people. But you are taking this way too far and just being unreasonable now. I have tried to be patient with you as my brother's fiancé. But even I have my limits and you have most certainly crossed them. I mean the fact that I even have to explain to you that it's wrong to hit people. It's just ridiculous. You're crazy, do you know that? Why would you do something like this? Oh, please. How dare you try to lecture me? Just because you're older doesn't mean that you're wiser or smarter than me, or that you can boss me around. You're just jealous because you're almost 10 years old than your little brother, and you're still not married. You were making the whole venue smell like mothballs and old people. That's why I had to think of something to get you out of there as fast as I could. You were ruining everything with your horrible oldness. Okay, this is just stupid. I don't have to put up with this. If you're really going to act in this way, then I think I'll just go home. You're not worth the effort at all. Do you realize that? Well, good. Get out of here. You were never, ever welcomed here to begin with. I hope you didn't forget your walker for your trip home, you old hag. Leave and never come back. You were never ever wanted here in the first place. I don't even know why you're insisting that this wedding is for young people only. That really doesn't even make sense with our parents all here as well. Well, of course our parents were going to go home. But only because I have them special permission and told them it was okay. Something that I specifically didn't say to you. You are seriously just delusional if you think that any of this makes sense or that this is any way to treat another person. I just can't even deal with you anymore. So I'll do as you say and just go home then. But you better know that you are going to regret what you've done to me and that nothing you are saying is going to change what happens next. Don't say that I didn't warn you. <laughs> there you go again with your melted brain rumblings. You really think that you can do anything to me at all? The only thing that I regret is not kicking you out of here sooner. I should have tossed you out the moment I saw you. Right, then I guess I'll just be heading off. I've had enough of this from you. You're a horrible woman. You'll make a horrible wife. And I would be surprised if you even make it through the wedding. Pick up the phone right now. Can't you see that I've been calling you this whole time? Why wouldn't you answer your phone? I thought that old people were supposed to love talking on the phone and hated texting. So when you see that, you're getting a call from me. You pick it up right away, got it? Things are falling apart here and I want an explanation for what's going on. Oh, are things not going so well for you at your wedding? I'm terribly sorry to hear that. But don't say that I didn't warn you. And you have got to be joking if you think that I'd ever want to talk to you on the phone after the way you treated me today. I would rather lose my hearing. Please, don't be like this. Lindsay, I'm really serious. This is an emergency. Please, you have to help me. I don't understand what you want me to do now. I did just as you said and left your wedding to go home. That is what you wanted me to do, isn't it? So then you really did go all the way back home. Why would you do that? What's the matter with you? I need you to get back here to the wedding venue right this second. You really want me to come back and be at your wedding even after you punched me in the gut? Are you sure about that, Lindsay? You really must be one of the most selfish women that I've ever met. I don't think I've ever known someone as self-centered and crazy as you are. Please, Hilda. We don't have time for this. Just get back here right now. Things are seriously falling apart and I really, really need you right now. It's an emergency, okay? 
I suppose the emergency is that my brother heard what you did and that's why the whole wedding is falling apart around you, isn't it? Or maybe he heard about you wouldn't stop making fun of me and saying all kinds of horrible things to me. But all the while, you had no idea that I was actually the president of the company where Sam got his job. You really are a moron! <laughs> Do you know that? You were already stupid for assaulting someone for no reason. But you didn't even realize the mistake you were making. But how was I supposed to know that you were the president of the company that Sam got his job offer from? I seriously had no idea what you even did for a living. And Sam never ever mentioned that he only had his job because of his connection to you. He never told me so. How was I supposed to know? None of this is my fault. But I heard that you told Sam that you were going to take back your job offer to him. Please, you can't do that to him for something that I did. This isn't fair on anyone, right? And just why isn't it fair for me to do that? I don't want anything to do with a crazy woman like you ever again. You were just horrible. And I want you out of my life as soon as possible. And if I want that to really happen, it means that I have to find every way to cut you out of my life. In this case, that just so happens to include my relationship with Sam too. So, I just can't let him work in my company where I would run the risk of running into or even having to hear about you. It was a pretty cut and dry decision to me. No, that still doesn't make any sense. I mean, why does Sam have to lose his job just because you don't want to deal with me? Don't you think that's taking things so far? Sorry, you misunderstand. He's not being fired at all because he still doesn't have the job. We sent him an offer. But there was still a lot of paperwork in between that and him actually working for me. So I withdrew our offer to him and wished him the best of luck in finding another job. Or rather... I think he would rather have had more time to find backup jobs, if not for you. I heard that you put most of the work for the wedding planning on him as well. And whenever he said that he wanted to try and focus on job hunting, you would threaten to break up with him. And my brother, being the kind boy that he is, agreed to go along with the wedding plan so that he didn't disappoint you. I just wanted a husband who was always going to put me first, and I thought that this would be a good way to test him. I didn't want a husband who didn't even have time for a relationship because he was too busy working like you. Well, you probably could have thought of a better way to go about that. Because if Sam doesn't have a job, then you're not going to be able to be a housewife like you always wanted to be. Please, you can't do this. Please, don't take away your brother's job like this. I promise that I apologize to you for everything that I've said up to now. I really didn't realize what I was doing at all. I only want to marry your brother. Is that really so bad? Haven't you already done enough to ruin my actual wedding? Can't you just leave things as they are and let Sam and I get married in peace without any more drama? Are you really trying to pin all of this on me right now? Let's not forget that you were the one who ran to me and punched me, okay? You overreacted by several miles and now you're going to try and pin something that is entirely your fault on me. You seriously need to wake up? Just shut up, you old hag. You don't know what you're talking about at all. You're ruining my life. You're literally the reason my wedding is falling apart and you need to do something to fix it right now. I'm really serious. I don't care how serious you are. I am not going to change my mind. And nothing you say is going to change that at all. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the police station and file a report against you. So I'll be quite busy with that. Wait, what? What do you mean you have to go to the police to file a report against me? What does that even mean? Well, it means that since you assaulted me, I have a right to report you to the police for what you did to me. Do you understand? I go to the police. I tell them that I've been assaulted. I say that it was you. And then they arrest you and look into the incident. Does that make sense? But wait! You can't be serious about this, right? I mean, you're my sister-in-law. I didn't mean for things to happen like this, but please, we're about to be family, so there's no point in doing this. You don't need to go this far, Hilda. It was just a little joke, that's all. Hmm. It certainly didn't feel like a joke when you punched me in the gut. And I have no intention of forgiving you for what you did to me either. We are going to take this to the court and solve this like adults. So you're really going to sue me then? You're really going to have me arrested too? You know that I wasn't serious about the punch. 
Please, haven't you already done enough? Why do you have to go this far? If you think that I'm buying a word that you're saying, you're dead wrong. Why don't you just own up to what you did like an adult? If I admit what I did was wrong, will you let me go? Well, now you're just admitting that the only reason you would apologize would be to let go. But it's way too late for that. Of course it's not so late. Don't say that. Please, all I want to do is get married. You don't have to do this. I didn't even do anything to you. I just got a little carried away. I would say that you were more than a little carried away. I mean, you literally hit me. Well, I guess I did technically hit you, yes? Well, there you have it. And I'm afraid that as long as he's with you, I want nothing to do with my brother either. Please, I really didn't know about any of this at all. I had no idea that you were the president of Sam's company, and I had no idea that you could just take the offer away from him like that. Well, it's all very true. But even if it wasn't, it still wouldn't make what you did okay in the slightest. You realize that, don't you? Especially after the shock you gave to everyone over what you did. Shock? What do you mean? What did I do? Who did I shock? Well, all of our relatives there who saw you punch me for one. But I didn't think that anyone was looking at me when I did that. You didn't think the people at a wedding weren't staring at the bride the entire time? You really are more stupid than I ever thought possible. In the end, the wedding between Sam and Lindsay ended up being cancelled, and Sam called off the engagement. In return, I let him keep his job. I did, however, go through with the police report and Lindsay was arrested for hitting me. Even her parents disowned her for what she did. She tried to beg me for help, but I blocked her number and never heard from her again. I did hear, however, that the police arrived at the wedding venue and arrested her in front of everyone. Debbie, where are you? Are you still at work? Do you have overtime today? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. My coworker invited me out for a meal. So, I'll be out eating for supper today. What? Again? You've done nothing but go out this week. Well, he did invite me. What was I supposed to do? And maybe so, but it's happening too often. You at least say no from time to time. You haven't been doing the housework lately either. Oh, give it a rest. Not the housework again. I've said it time and time again. If you want something cleaning, do it yourself. There's no rule that says women have to do the housework, you know? Men and women are equal. There's no rule, but we did promise to split the housework evenly. Despite the fact that we've been paying the living expenses equally, I've been the only one doing any housework at all lately. Because you stay in bed until right before work, you haven't been making breakfast or lunch boxes either. Then, when it comes to cleaning up, taking the trash out, or doing the laundry, you're always either too busy or you forgot. You're just making lazy excuses, aren't you? My god, you're so small-minded. There are days where I might be sick or have things come up suddenly. It can't be helped if I can't always do things exactly as we agreed. Have you no conception of adapting to problems as they arise? You're so damn stubborn! All I'm asking is that you honor your promise. Just do the things when it's your turn as agreed. If you can't, start bringing in more money and balance things out that way. Things are unfair as they are now. Ugh, you know, I can't do that. I don't have any more to give on my current salary. And isn't it normally the man's job to bring the money in? Do the housework then! Stop eating out all the time as well! We're not exactly made of money, are we? What? Are you saying I'm not free to eat as I want to? I want you to stop being so controlling. I'm paying my equal share. What I do with the rest of my salary is up to me. I have no issue with you eating out if you can do it and still get by on your own salary. But you took $150 out of my wallet the other day, didn't you? The cost of eating out all the time is obviously exceeding what you earn. 
It's theft, plain and simple. Surely there's no need to eat out to that extent. Anyway, just stop wasting money at restaurants. <sighs> You're so annoying. If I bother you that much, let's get a divorce. It's fine with me. Really? This again? We talk about divorce as soon as things get inconvenient for you. Isn't it only natural to want to say that? You drone on at me day after day. My coworker's Melissa's husband takes the initiative and does housework. But with you, Rick, every second sentence is do the housework, do the housework. Are you such an idiot that you can only say one thing? Huh, where did idiot come from? It's your fault for not keeping your promise. Living alone would be less hassle than this. Why don't you just file for a divorce then? As always, the papers are on top of the cabinet. If you got the balls, just go and do it. Do whatever you like. <laughs> Debbie, you know, if you continue saying such selfish things, you're going to end up regretting it. What are you talking about, lol? You make me sick. So I'll be staying at my friend's place tonight. I'll be going to work for my friend's place tomorrow morning, too. Bye! God damn it, Rick. Why didn't you bring the laundry in? Or rather, why did you just leave mine out? No way! Did you leave it hanging out here since yesterday? You're the worst! You're so cunning. You only took care of your own stuff. Are you harassing me? Stop acting like such a moron, Rick. You're not a child. Hey, don't ignore me. Huh? What do you want? I told you the laundry. Why did you leave only my stuff out? You only took care of your own. You're so malicious. Why do I have to do that? A stranger's laundry isn't my problem. What? A stranger? Are you still sulking? Listen here, you stop this now. You complain about a measly bit of housework. When are you gonna start acting like a man? Nothing you say has anything to do with me. Deal with your own stuff yourself. If that's how it is. Shall we divorce then? If we can't cooperate, there's not much point in us being married, is there? Divorce is fine by me. It'll be absolutely fine. I already filed for one. What? The divorce paper's on the top of the cabinet. I handed them in today. Me and you are strangers now. What? No, wait a minute. Did you really hand them in? Why? Why? Because you brought it up constantly. I'll divorce you. Let's get a divorce. You wanted to divorce every five minutes for crying out loud. Oh, come on. I was obviously joking. Why did you go off and hand the papers in? Aren't you the one who said I should file for one? Aren't you the one who told me to do whatever I like? Even so, that doesn't mean you do it for real. That's not the reason I said it. So why did you say it? If you're constantly harping on about divorce... There must be a reason behind it, right? I just wanted to make you reflect. Reflect? What should I reflect on? How you tell me I should be doing the housework because I'm a woman. And how you try to restrict the money I'm allowed to use. I want you to reflect on those things. What the hell is this? I've never said anything like that. Not even once. All I asked was that you do your share of the housework we agreed on. And stop slacking off on it without a good reason. All I did was warn you not to waste your money to the extent that you have to steal mine. Don't distort the truth. There's one thing I should reflect on. It's how I let you get away with so much. Shut up! I'm not in the wrong here. Anyway, I don't want a divorce. So cancel the proceedings immediately. Nope. I'm canceling nothing. 
Because I want to divorce you. Uh. I'm so sick of it all. You don't keep the promises you made when we got married. You force all of your housework that was supposed to be halved onto me. You steal my money so you can eat out all over town. You start threatening divorce the moment I say something you don't like. My patience has run out. I won't put up with your selfishness anymore. We're getting a divorce. I see. I see. Fine. If that's how you put it, okay, I'll divorce you. I have no interest in being with a guy as stubborn as you anyway. All this complaining over a measly bit of housework. You should be more like Melissa's husband. He's great at his job, does the housework, and all without a single complaint. You should learn a thing or two from him. Oh yeah, now that you mention it. Melissa's husband? That guy you never shut up about? I know about your affair with him. What? You'd always say your co-worker invited you out to eat, or you were going to hang out with your friend. But I know you were really going to meet him. Because no matter how you look at it, it was happening too often. I hired a private investigator. I have plenty of photo evidence. You coward! I can't believe you've been sneaking around snooping on me! Have you no shame? Isn't that my line? Having an affair with a married man? Have you no shame? Of course I'll be telling Melissa all about your affair too. She is an involved party after all. No! Don't, please! I won't be able to stay at the company! I might call her a co-worker, but Melissa's my boss! Not my problem. You only have yourself to blame. Please don't tell Inoue or anyone at work. Please, I'll do anything. If it's money you want, I can pay. If you want me to get on my knees and apologize, I'll do it. I'll do the housework from now on. Oh, you will pay. And you will apologize. But you don't have to do the housework. We're divorced now, after all. No, please. I don't want a divorce. I'm sorry for the housework, and I'm sorry for the affair. Please forgive me. I'll never answer you back again, please. Sorry, but what I want is a marriage between equals. Not a slave who will do whatever I say. Me and you aren't going to be starting over. So hurry up, get your stuff together, and get out. No, Rick, please. Okay, I'll be staying at a hotel until you're gone. I'll be charging you for the hotel bill afterwards. So you best make it quick. Well, if you want to be charged exorbitant fees, then by all means, stay. <laughs> I guess if you can afford it, then I'm happy to take your money. <laughs> no, wait. Let's just talk about this. I think I've gotten my point across by now. There's nothing for us to talk about. So, uh, yeah. Hurry up and get out. Night. <laughs>